In Luke 15, we find three different instances of Jesus using parables where the lost are sought after. In Luke 15 verses 1 to 7, we read about a shepherd that had 100 sheep. When one of the sheep goes missing, instead of the shepherd saying, oh well, I have 99 other sheep, he went to find the missing sheep. Many would think it was crazy that a shepherd was willing to leave 99 sheep to seek and to find the one that's missing. Why leave so many other sheep just to find one? The urgency isn't misplaced if you're the one that's lost. Being lost is scary. To get into the main points we see, especially in the parable of the prodigal son, sin separates us from God and makes us lost. But God wants us to be found. God has gone to great lengths for us to be right with him. God created everything, but he made us different. He made us in his image, Genesis chapter 1 verse 27. God wants us to love him, but he gives us a choice if we want to obey him or not. It's easy for us to condemn the lost until we are the ones found in sin. Praise God for being patient, and while we still have air in our lungs, an opportunity to repent, 2 Peter 3, 9. In Luke 15, we see that even though we can be lost, we serve a God who wants us back. We are worth leaving the 99 other sheep to find. In the story of the prodigal son, found in Luke chapter 15, verses 11 to 31, the young man wanted his inheritance. Basically, he told his dad that he wasn't dying fast enough, and he wanted what would have been his. It broke his father's heart, but he allowed his son to leave. He spent his money on sinful things and found himself in a pig pen wanting to eat what the pigs ate. He hoped that his dad would bring him back, just as a servant. The prodigal son hoped his father would allow him back, just so enough that he wouldn't starve to death. So he returned. Instead of his father waiting on the porch, ready to shame him for his misdeeds, his father ran and met him on the road. He hugged him, he kissed him, and he killed his best calf. We find that older brother was jealous and voiced that jealousy. The father's response was beautiful. He said that your brother who was dead is now alive. Sin causes us to be dead to God, causes us to be separated from him. Isaiah chapter 59 and verse 2. But when we come back to him, he acts like the father and the prodigal son. He acts like the shepherd searching for the one sheep, and he acts like the person searching for that last coin. He desperately wants us to be right with him. That is the whole reason God sent Christ. John 3.17 reads, For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Instead of thinking about how it was crazy that the shepherd left the 99 sheep to find just one, we need to remember how scary it is to be lost and how much relief it is for the lost one to be found. James chapter 5 verses 19 to 20. Only you can know if you're ready to become a Christian. But when you truly know, you know that you've disappointed God and that you're lost. If I've sinned, why would God want me? And speaking from the parables of Luke 15, God is ready to leave the 99 sheep to come and get you. He's ready to search feverishly like you're a valuable coin. And he's ready to run to you in the road because he loves you and is quick to forgive you. You just have to desire forgiveness and be willing to obey his commandments. John 14, 15.